Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. In Mayfair, firefighters still are decontaminating the site of a hazmat situation that killed a man. A baby and a woman were taken to a hospital. And the cleanup is happening right now in a townhome on the 4,000 block of Teasdale Street near Frankfurt and Cotman. CBS News Philadelphia's Brandon Goldner is live at the scene in Mayfair. Brandon. Jess and Yuki, firefighters in the last few minutes have just wrapped up doing their operation in Teasdale. We still have one police officer who is out here. This is the house that's at the center of what was a scary situation with multiple fire trucks, police cars, and ambulances covering this neighborhood. According to firefighters and police, they say they found a white powder inside this townhome that they believe was fentanyl. What is going on in the Northeast? People in this Mayfair neighborhood say they're stunned to see so many fire trucks, ambulances, and police cars. I never seen that. It's cops everywhere, news, fire trucks. This thing getting crazy. Philadelphia police say this all began around 10:35 this morning when paramedics responded to a 911 call for a man not breathing in the basement of a townhome. When they arrived, they found he was dead, surrounded by a white powdery substance. All of a sudden, medics say a woman who was in the house passed out and had to be revived with Narcan. These are highly trained folks, the best in the business, busiest medics in the entire industry. So they uh, administered Narcan and had positive results. She and a six month old baby were taken to a nearby hospital. Investigators believe the white powder contained the deadly opioid fentanyl. Fire Commissioner Adam Thiel says because so much of the white powder was found in the house, it prompted Philadelphia Fire to send hazmat teams. But usually, you're not seeing quantities of these materials that are sufficient to, uh, like we saw in here, it's smaller doses. But, you know, a small dose can kill. He says it'll take hours to decontaminate the house before police can begin their criminal investigation. As she watches from across the street, Mary Tobin says she's frustrated. And what's going on here is an absolute just shock to everybody. You know, everybody wanted to live and grow up in the Northeast. I mean, I know I did, but now it's just crazy. She hopes local political leaders are coming up with solutions to fix the neighborhood's crime issues. Who is going to do something? Is anybody going to do anything? Instead of just talk about it and try to get our votes, how about try to do something about it? All the streets surrounding this townhome have now since reopened. Firefighters leaving the area. Now we have police officers out here. They have to do a search warrant of the house to find out if they can get any evidence, figure out what exactly happened, and see if this house had any previous situations when it comes to involvement with police. Brandon Goldner, CBS News, Philadelphia. Okay, Brandon, thank you for that.